What's going on y'all, it's your boy AJB, the ING, you guys back in another quick video. And today, we're doing a couple things in the gen, as I told you guys. It's a pretty big day, maintenance wise, but we're gonna be changing some fluids. So, we are going to be swapping out. I told you guys I put SP3 inside of the transmission, which is not what it's supposed to be in the car. So today, we are swapping out, basically doing an entire flush on the training and putting SP4 Ravenol, double R, Right now, I've got my boy Jeremy, who is currently unbolting the entire training. So we'll get over here in one second to show you guys. What's up, what's up? What up, what up? The main man. My man. So right now, he's just basically, as I told you guys, I put SP3 in here, which is not supposed to be in here. What, uh, what bolts did you, I guess, what size? So, so we can let them know. All 10 millimeters. All 10 millimeters around. So we got entire transmission plate. Three bolts on the back. Two, two bolts, bolts for the, the side. And then the three nuts that fit up up towards the front. Mm -hmm. Off of these posts here and this dead center one. So that's right here. Yes, sir. And then these two posts right up here. And on the other side over here. Yep. So it's going to take about... I had to buy a lot of Ravenol. Ravenol is not, not fucking cheap. SP4 double R. So it's, I think it's like 20 quarts that I bought to do a full flush. Uh, so yeah, just don't make the mistake, guys. Be an idiot like me, putting SP3 <laughs> in your tranny, and you won't have to go and spend $300 on transmission fluid. But that is kind of the initial nuts and bolts of how to get this off. And she's gonna be clean. Yeah, she'll get back. Get back with you guys once we get some more of the fluid in here and uh, get things going. All right, guys, we are about to drain the transmission. Size is that ratchet? That is a. Three eighths with a eight millimeter hex end. Three eighths with an eight millimeter hex end. This is your drain plug for all these eight speed automatics. And there she goes. All that SP3 coming out of there. Just like it should. Now, three hours later. <laughs> so yes, we are completely going to be draining this out real quick. And we will refill this with SP4. Double R, Ravenol, and then we'll put the trans cooler in because we don't want to mix the SP3 with the SP4. That's, you don't want to mix the transmission fluids. It's going to be bad. So, no, and, drain it first. And then to do that, we're also going to be removing these two panels mm -hmm. so that we can get the transmission cooler lines, which is going to be up underneath this front panel here. Mm -hmm. And after that, we will get back with you. Yep. Sounds good. Three, two, one. All right, guys, so we have to pump a lot or as much of this SP3 out as we can. We're not gonna be able to get all of it out, unfortunately, but um, we are gonna use this contraption here, which is the greatest device on earth, which will allow us to fill up, up to seven quarts of trans fluid in here to pump it actually through the transmission and out of this drain so, hole. So right now, I am basically cleaning and flushing the previous trans fluid that was in here because you always want to make sure you have the correct transmission fluid going into the correct transmission any little bit of lingering whether it be a half a quart or whatnot will not mix with the transmission that is supposed to be for your type of transmission correct the mundo so we're gonna come in here with the sp4 Again, guys, make sure you just don't be a dink that like me filling it up with the wrong fluid because you won't have to go the route of doing this procedure again. 
take your time, double check everything. Yes. Now again, the SP3 did not affect the drivability of the car. The car was shifting okay, but still, over time, you don't want to be running the wrong fluid. <clears throat> And guys, again guys, you can use a hand pump or you can use this giant pump right here, which is pretty, pretty good to pump it on here. This is a high flow pump, so just kind of go slow. fluid in here the first round of fluid in here now we're going to lower the car start the car let it run for a little bit and then drain it all right guys now we have just two hours later damn near or one hour later one and a half hours later we've gotten all the transmission fluid back in so what we did in order to get all the fluid back in was we pumped all the fluid, as much fluid as we could in. Then once we were done, we pretty much left the car running. We went through all the gears, so neutral. 15 yeah. seconds per gear? Yeah, at least 15 seconds per gear. Did that a bunch of times just to make sure that um, we got all the fluid out of that. What is that? It's that torque converter. Torque converter. Got all the uh, fluid out of that torque converter. And then once we were done, you have two drain bolts here. This is your leveler on the right. So once we were done basically um, draining all the fluid out, we opened up this leveler and opened up the fill plug as well. And pretty much, uh, it was basically really simple from there. We let the car run in neutral and we lifted the car up and while it was running in neutral and we, Put our, our um, transmission fluid adapter. Transmission fluid adapter, which is over here. It was an ATF. So this is like a little transmission fluid adapter kit. Specifically, the size of the one that we used was an ATF 106, and that is over here. So it is this size, and this is what we put on the leveler. So. And then we just basically pumped this plug comes out the fluid this in. gets threaded into the bottom yep and then your fluid attachment goes up into here you pump fluid in until it, it starts to, to dribble out, out the fill plug and, and then, then after that put the fill plug in, in tighten it down you will have a lot of fluid escaping from here so you have to do this quick between removing this and putting the fill this stop plug in uh -huh. perfect that's pretty much it and then once you're done again this is going to be pretty hot so you want to move as quick as you can the fluid temperature has to be between 90 and 115 degrees correct mm -hmm. and here then basically bolt everything back up and you'll be done with your transmission fluid change if you guys like the video make sure you guys go ahead and give me a thumbs up Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Comments below. Sorry, let me rephrase that. It's between 122 and 140 degrees. And Jeremy is a perfectionist, so it is one between 122 and 140 degrees. Um, that you need to have the temperature of that fluid before you can fully fill everything in. And once you're done, bolt everything back up. Bolt your fill, bolt, bolt your fill plug back in. Put your leveler back in, tighten that up, and as I said, start with your beauty plates. You're done. All those back in. And you put your put your plastic plates back in, and it is a wrap. But yes, more of the story, guys. Do not put the wrong fluid in here, and you won't have to go through the hassle of draining everything out like I had to do today with my boy Jeremy. Thank God I got my boy Jeremy here to help me. 
we got the lift, we have all the equipment that we need. Otherwise, this would have been very difficult, you know, to do in your, your driveway, right? So, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment. If you guys have questions, leave them below, and I'll call Jeremy for all your answers. Because <laughs> I'm not a transmission expert, but I learned quite a bit today. I hope you guys did too. I'll hit the bell, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Deuces.